up guys welcome to gogo -Go motoring youtube channel in today's video i'm going to discuss the, with you the differences between bmw and mercedes as a brand okay uh, having owned multiple bmws and now being an owner of uh, mercedes um, i can share with you uh, you know kind of what the core differences are uh, between the, the, the two brands and I'm going to begin by saying, surprisingly, that the difference between the two cars or the two brands, in my experience, is not as much as some people make it out to be. So if you read, you know, Car and Driver, Road and Track, Motor Trend, any, any of these car magazines, right? And whenever there's a compare test between a BMW and a Mercedes, it's pretty much the same old story, you know. Uh, BMWs are more sporty, they're more driver-oriented they're tilted more towards the you know performance out of the equation whereas you know mercedes is you know softer more luxurious you know and built more towards the luxurious side of the equation okay that's pretty much what every magazine says about every car comparison that involves a bmw and a mercedes and you know those statements are true to an extent but what i think they end up doing is they make you think that the difference between the cars is much bigger than it is right it you know it makes you think that oh man if i'm you know if i'm in a bmw i'm going to be in this hardcore sports car you know where i'm one with the machine um and in the alternative if i'm in a mercedes i'm going to be in this you know luxurious cruiser boat that's got soft suspension and you know is is is, is just all about comfort and that's just not true based on based on my experience i mean i think that when you drive a bmw or you drive a mercedes in many ways they definitely feel like they come from the same family tree right Number one, you know, obviously they're both German you know, vehicles, German luxury vehicles, and and because of that, they do have a you know sort of a similar feel. And I think you know primarily one of the main things is that you know both cars, you know, as you know, at the basic level, both cars drive really well. Like they are very much um, you know cars that are very accurate. Uh, and responsive to driver inputs, right? So, you know, both of those, both of those cars, BMWs, Mercedes, they're both going to be street cars, right? So, I'm not necessarily, you know, equating. Every, I'm not saying that you know every BMW, Mercedes is going to be some amazing track machine. I mean, there's cars, cars that are specifically geared towards that. But on the street, I think both Mercedes and, and, and BMW, in my experience, both have been very accurate vehicles. That means that. They're responsive to the driver input. You know where you where you turn the steering wheel and you expect the car to go. That's where the car's going to go. There's not going to be any sort of a disconnect between what the driver's doing and what the car's doing. Okay, so in that regard, the cars feel very similar. Um, and on top of that, the, you know everything about the cars feels like they've been put just right. Right, like the the uh, you know. The accelerator works as it should. The, the, the brake feel, you know, feels good. The steering inputs are accurate. So, in, in that regard, both cars feel very, very much alike. Also, the cars, you know, the feel of the cars is is not that different. Like, it's nice to sit in both a BMW and a Mercedes. They they, they, they use the similar type of material, similar quality of materials. Um, they also kind of have a like a, a, a feel inside that's not identical, but but again, that's that that that, that that's similar to each other. So um, again, a lot of you know a lot more similarities between the two brands than than, than people may think if they just you know read these uh, read, read the different magazines. If there is a difference between the two brands, I mean, kind of going back to what people were saying, one's more sporty, one's more luxurious. That's true. That is true. That the BMWs are typically more sporty, especially some of the older uh, uh, BMWs. Um, but you know, if you were to kind of put it on a scale, right? So you know, ten is a you know a luxurious car, 
like, I'm sorry, 10 is sporty, right? So let's say like 10, on a scale of one to 10, 10 is super sporty, hardcore sports car, and one is, you know, just a luxurious car. It's all about, you know, comfort, soft suspension, luxury, et cetera, right? So if those are the three, if, if that's sort of the scale that you're looking at, where I would place a BMW on that scale would be, you know, probably a six or a seven. You know, some of the older school BMWs probably a seven. Some of the, you know, newer BMWs probably closer to five. But I would say on, on average, I would put a BMW on that scale of six to seven, right? So it's geared more towards the sporty end of the equation, but it's still very much a luxurious car. It's a comfortable car, um, but you can definitely kind of feel through the car and the way that it drives, you know, you, you, it kind of permeates like, hey, we're, 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 we're gearing or tailoring this a little bit more towards the, uh, towards the, uh, the, the sporty end of the equation. Okay. The Mercedes on that same scale, so again, 10 being sporty, one being luxurious, I would put a Mercedes based on my experience at a four, right? Um, it's, it's definitely more comfortable than a, than a BMW is. It's a little bit more, you know, it, 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 it's a little bit softer, I think, than a lot of BMWs. But at the same time, it's still very much, you know, a car that drives well, that handles well, um, and that is, you know, you're not gonna feel any sort of a disconnect between you as a driver and, you know, what the, what the car does uh, based on the inputs that you provide. So that's honestly been the primary difference between them. But like I said, the difference is not as big as some people make it out to be. I can tell you that both brands are awesome and I don't think you can, you can go wrong with, with, um, with either one. So that's it for this video, guys. Appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below um, and share this video. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.